Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having a wonderful spring so far. Today I wanted to bring you all along with me to an outlet mall in Tokyo since I feel like it's kind of a local thing to do and not many tourists get a chance to visit as they tend to be a bit far from the central city area. I also know that a lot of my viewers are also interested in what shopping and fashion is like in Japan so please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. I wanted to try somewhere new and so I decided to check out the Ion Lake Town outlet at Koshigaya Lake Town. It takes about 40 minutes from Shinjuku station or about an hour from Tokyo station. I like visiting malls like these because they're so big and spacious and feel a bit different from station malls and department stores in central Tokyo that I go to often such as Lumine which hopefully I can also introduce in the near future so that you guys can see the difference. They're both shopping malls but I feel like outlets are very open and also family friendly as they have food courts, movie theaters, and game centers as well. I arrived at the outlet in the late afternoon and I hadn't eaten anything all day so I decided to stop by the food court. There is just something so exciting to me about a mall food court in any country really. That makes me so excited. I always love to make a round and see all of the shops and options. I decided to get udon at Marugame Seimen. I got the hot mentai kamatama udon which comes with a raw egg, spicy cod roe, green onions, and seaweed. They also have free tempura flakes that you can get as much as you want of so I always top it off since it's so good when it gets a little soft and soggy with the dashi. I also couldn't help myself and ended up getting a mixed vegetable tempura, pumpkin tempura, and also squid tempura. Anyway, I can't believe it's already May. I had taken a bit of a hiatus from filming due to some technical issues I was really struggling with. And if anyone follows my Instagram, you may have also seen that I went to France for a bit to visit my friend living in Paris in March. It was so much fun and of course I took a lot of videos so although it won't be my usual life in Japan content please let me know if anyone will be interested in seeing some Paris and also Amsterdam vlogs. Anyway after that April just completely flew by while I was catching up on work and just personal life stuff but I've been dying to film and upload more. I know I say that every single time. But yes, I'm so excited to be back and I hope that you guys will enjoy all the contact from now on. Anyway, back to shopping. I found this floral patterned one piece dress and skirt at a brand called Inga with the same pattern but slightly different colors. This type of floral pattern has been so popular recently. I see a lot of girls wearing blouses and skirts similar to this. I ended up getting this dress with the white and light brown and I couldn't choose so I also ended up getting the skirt version which is actually white and blue. I will be filming another Japanese spring summer fashion lookbook for this year. I think it'll end up being sometime in May hopefully. The warmer weather outfits are my favorite and I'm really excited to show you all as well. Next, I did some shopping at Latisu, which is a very popular and affordable accessory shop that I've loved since I was younger. I ended up getting a pair of earrings and a couple rings as well. Most of the accessories are only about 300 yen and they're always very trendy and I've never really had any break or any trouble with them. And as you can see, they've also recently been selling a lot of small, cute interior goods for your house or for your room. But if you really want to see some pretty things for your house, you have to check out Huran Huran. This is a very popular shop that sells all kinds of household items and furniture, and they're all very aesthetically pleasing. My friends and I always say how we wish we could decorate our entire house with Huran Huran stuff because it's so cute. I decided to stop by another home goods store called Nitori Deko Home. And people actually call this the Huran Huran of Nitori, which is a furniture store that sells more normal basic items. And this Deko Home shop version tends to have things with a bit more design to them. 
I had fun browsing around and daydreaming about how I want to furnish and decorate my house someday, but I ended up just buying a simple bath towel since I needed a new one. Are you all the type to prefer shopping online or in person? And if in person, do you like to go alone or is it better to go with someone? Personally, I like the experience of shopping in person since I feel like I get to see so many things I normally wouldn't if I was going online to specifically buy whatever I was searching for. Which, now that I say out loud, is basically just me asking to be influenced to buy more things I wasn't planning on. But anyway, it's also just an experience. I just love how polite and nice the shop employees always are. And they can also inspire me since all of the clothing shop staff always look so good. Of course, I don't mind. I enjoy shopping with friends and giving each other suggestions or making comments together. But some days like these, I really just like to take my time and walk around on my own. Anyway, I ended up walking to the other part of the mall, which is the outlet right next to the original building I was in. And this section is more of a typical outlet with a lot of well-known brands and shops. I'm not really into expensive brands so much, so I ended up buying this skincare set that I've been curious about, which was on sale. And I also took a little bit of a rest by the lake since my feet were getting tired, and it was so pretty. I can see why the area is called Lake Town. I eventually went back to the first mall and stopped by the afternoon tea shop. This brand also has a lot of cute things for your home and daily life and this new Tea Memorial fragrance line is so cute and they all smell so good like different types of tea and I definitely spent a good 10 minutes smelling everything. I grabbed an actual tea from the vending machine to fuel me for a bit longer and went to see some of the entertainment areas. I have a habit recently of just walking into a game center whenever I see one because the game center goods industry is so fascinating and it's always fun to see what new items are out and to watch people try and get something. Another industry that has been huge recently are gachapon. Of course these capsule toys have been popular for many decades, I loved them when I was a kid. But just in the past couple of years, the increase of these areas like this and shops dedicated to gachapon is so clear living in Tokyo. I see so many recently. I think maybe it's because it's so easy to set up in any amount of space. You don't really need any staff to run it. And it's really enjoyable for all ages and both locals and tourists love it. For just a few coins, you can get a new toy or figurine, and there's definitely a lot of thought and effort going into thinking of the ideas of these. Some of my favorites are the ones that are supposedly actual handwritten letters from people, and they might be things like words of wisdom, or I've seen ones that were like grandma's recipes, or a love letter or something. I just think those are so funny. I browsed around a little bit more, but it was getting late and my feet were dying, so I left to go to my dinner plans. I'd been wanting to visit this yakiniku restaurant called Ishin Tansuke, since it had been quite popular online. I'm a big fan of yakiniku, which is Japanese-style barbecue where you cook the meat yourself. I believe this place only does the all-you-can-eat course, and they specialize in gyutan or beef tongue. I personally love beef tongue and it might even be up there as my favorite food. If you haven't tried it yet and you like eating meat, please give it a try. Tapehodai, which means all you can eat, or nomihodai, which is all you can drink, is very common in Japan. It's not limited to just yakiniku like this restaurant. There are so many restaurants that offer these courses and as someone who always takes way too long deciding what to order, I like being able to eat a lot of different things off of the menu. Thank you all for coming along with me to go shopping at the mall and I hope to see you all again very soon. It's golden week here in Japan now 
which is a break at the beginning of May. And I'm doing a couple of fun things with friends, so I'm excited to film and show you all of those videos as well.